Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech. I'm gonna show you how to read voltages on a traditional LCD TV. This is a Vizio LCD TV, and I'm gonna show you a diagram of LG LCD TV so you get a little bit more of an understanding, different kind of brands, what voltages do what, and uh, how to troubleshoot basically your LCD TV. So let's first identify the boards. Now here's my power cord. I go ahead and plug in my power cord and use caution, you can get shocked working on TVs. So the power cord plugs in right here. You, lead, you follow these wires right here and it leads to the power supply board right here. This is the power board. And it converts AC volts to DC volts and distributes five volts standby voltage to your main logic board and also uh, distributes your voltage for your audio board, which is usually built into the main logic board and also distributes voltage right here going back out to the TCOM board, which gives you your picture on the screen. This is the display board, a timing control board, and it's actually directly connected to the LCD panel itself. And these boards right here on the sides, they're covered behind this black plastic cover. And this one controls the backlight. So if you don't have a backlight glow, then you would uh, look at the inverter boards or the power going to the inverter boards. If you have a distorted picture, you will look at the TCOM board or the main logic board. And if you don't have power, then you would look at the power board or the main logic board. And then obviously if you don't have audio, you look at the audio board or the power going to the audio board. So let's go ahead and read the voltages and I'm gonna tell you what voltages you should be reading, whether the TV's off or on. So the only thing you need is a $20 voltmeter and I got a $100 Fluke 12 multimeter. It reads resistors, capacitors, diodes, AC volts, DC volts. It's an excellent meter. I'll leave a link in the video description below if you're interested in getting a fluke meter. So first things first, you wanna check the input volts from the power cord. And you wanna put it in AC mode. So let's go ahead and put it in AC mode. That's a V with the squiggle. Check the AC right here. And the power coming in is there's no polarity so you could put it either way you know doesn't matter so but you should be getting one about 120. now if we check the input right here it's plugged into the power board and it's 122.7 it's fine now be careful do not touch this plate this is hot ground it actually reads a voltage so if i put my black lead right here and my positive lead right here it reads 65 volts Okay, now that we, you know you have 120 volts going into the power board, next you want to check the bridge rectifier. Its job is to convert AC volts to DC volts because the TV only works off of DC volts. And this is what it looks like. So the two inside pins is the input pins. And on your meter, you switch it to AC mode and you should get 120 volts AC. Now on the outside pins is your output pins. And you switch your meter to DC mode and put your black probe on the minus and put your red probe on the plus side and then you get about a 150 to 160 DC volts as your output. If you are not getting that, switch out the bridge rectifier. And if this is short, if the bridge rectifier is shorted, then it would take out your fuse. So I got 120 as my input voltage on the bridge rectifier. I'm gonna put my red lead on the positive side, which is the left side of the bridge rectifier. My black lead is the negative. I'm gonna put that on the minus symbol. I'm reading 160 DC volts as my output. Now this is the power board right here, but this plug, this connection goes to the main logic board. Now what's important about this is the five volts standby voltage. You wanna make sure you have five volts steady standby voltage going to the main logic board to actually um, activate the logic, which is the CPU. No standby light on the front panel of the TV can mean you have a bad power board, but if you read the voltage, standby voltage on the power board, that can mean that you have a bad main logic board. The standby light is usually connected directly to the main logic board. All right, and what you want to look for is something that's labeled STBY or standby or five volts. On some Sony TVs, it's 3.3 um, DC volts as your standby voltage. But on this Vizio TV, it's going to be five volts. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put my black lead on a ground source, which is the chassis of the TV. And then I'm gonna put my red lead on the five volts pin right here. And we're reading five volts steady. Now, if this five volts was fluctuating, jumping up and down, I would look at the capacitors or the five volt voltage regulator. So now I'm gonna show you how to read a voltage regulator. So I'm gonna put my black lead again on the chassis of the TV. 
and then I'm going to hold this right here so you guys can see the voltage and then I'm going to put my red probe on the middle leg on the voltage regulator and a steady voltage so we're reading 5 volt steady voltage coming out of the um, voltage regulator and it is good and next I want to read the 12 volts on this particular TV the 12 volts turns on the TCOM board which is the display board that's connected to the LCD panel and the backlight board so let's go ahead and check that out all right so now I'm gonna put my black lead again on the chassis of the TV for a ground source and then I'm gonna put my red lead on the 12 volt voltage regulator which is I believe it's this one right here and it is zero volts so the reason why it's zero volts is because I have to turn the TV on to get that voltage if the TV's off you should always get 5 volts standby voltage all right but when the TV's on then that's when you get your 12 volts so let's go ahead and turn the TV on all right and then let's check uh, again the 12 volt voltage regulator and it is reading good so I'm reading 11.95 it's really close to 12 right here we should get the same voltage out of here as well so on the 12 volt it says 12 volts right here on the plug let's go ahead and yeah 11.91 and it's steady and it's good now if it was jumping up and down I would change out my 12 volt voltage regulator if it was fluctuating up and down or maybe these capacitors all right that are in circuit with the 12 volt line and next let's go ahead and read the 24 volt line so this is the 24 volt line and it goes to the audio board now so on some TVs the 24 volt line may be for the TCOM board or the inverter board but on this particular Vizio TV it's for the audio board so let's go ahead and check that out so this is the 24 volt line and we are reading zero volts because the TV is turned off so let's go ahead and hit the power button and now we got our 24 volts and it's steady now if it was jumping up and down I would check my uh, 24 volt voltage regulator uh, so let's check the regulator for the 24 volts and it's reading 26 volts um, 0.17 so it's actually doing its job it's pretty close to 24 volts all right so let's go check the inverter on and off so I'm gonna put my black lead again on the TV chassis for a ground source and the TV's on right now and so I put my lead right here on the inverter on and off and I'm reading right here almost 5 volts so on inverter on right here on that pin I am reading 5 volts and that indicates that tells basically the backlight inverter boards to turn on now if you're not getting 5 volts then you check out your main logic board for that voltage so you scroll down right here there's my main logic board this is my CPU this is my CPU on the main logic board which is the brains and here is the connection right here this is the on off channel up and channel down volume controls and standby light all connected right here on this connection so when you hit on button or you hit on on your TV remote it goes through this connection right here that's connected to the main logic board goes to the CPU and the CPU tells the main a power supply board to turn on the high voltage all right this connection right here is your TCON connection this is connected directly to the TCON board and that controls your picture on your TV that you see right up here and these ribbon cable connections are directly connected to the LCD panel I, I replaced quite a few TCON boards on a Sony TV not so much a Vizio TV so let's go check the voltage on the TCON cable connection and let's grab my meter and go to pin 30 and I am reading 11.75 which is pretty good pretty close to 12 volts and that's what we should be reading so let's go see if there's a connection problem on the TCOM board and let's do the same thing on pin 30 and we're getting 11.68 so it's pretty close to 12 volts and we can also check the audio board so the voltage going to the audio board is good and I should have audio and this is my amp and this is my amplifier chip right here so if I'm getting very low vol volume then I would change out the amplifier chip and see if that increases the volume and this connection right here is directly connected to the speakers and then I'm gonna check the on and off right here so my on and off pin is reading 3.1 volts now when I hit the power button and turn off the TV it goes down to zero so every time you turn on the TV you should get that 3 volts now the cable right here going to the inverter board which act activates the inverter board 
should read 12 volts in this particular TV. Sometimes it's a different voltage on, depending on the TV brand. But the VCC should be 12 volts. So let's go ahead and read that VCC pin right here. Now you don't want to read these. I'm going to show you how to read the high voltage coming out of these transformers. Do not read this with your meter. Or do not touch it. It's high voltage. It will knock you on your ass and fry your meter all at the same time. Now the VCC pin right here reads zero volts because the TV is turned off. So let's go ahead and turn the TV on. Hit the power button. The TV should be on now. Pretty close to 12 volts. So the VCC is good. So the backlight should turn on. Backlight is on because when I turn off the lights, you can see the light shine through the back plate. Now to read these high voltage wires going to the inverter board to turn on your backlight, which is the fluorescent tubes behind the LCD panel. The only thing you're gonna need is a fluorescent tube like this one, a low watt fluorescent tube. So I'm gonna take my CCFL and when you touch it, the light bulb should glow indicating there is high voltage coming out of the transformers. So yeah, these are live wires. So you sh the backlight should be working fine and it does. And you can see it shining through. And that's science kids. On a Vizio TV, it's usually the main logic board or the power supply board going bad or defective EEPROM on the main logic board. Now I wanted to compare your Vizio TV to an LG LCD TV circuit. And I'm gonna show you the you know so similarities and I'm gonna show you the differences. So you got your power supply board, same as the Vizio. You got your main logic board, same as the Vizio TV. Your TCOM board, which is directly connected to your LCD display panel, same as the Vizio TV. But the only difference is, is that your inverter board is built onto your power supply board on LG TV. And the audio circuit is actually built onto the main logic board, unlike the Vizio TV. Otherwise, it's pretty close to the same thing. So you got your AC in coming from the power cord, going to your bridge rectifier. Your bridge rectifier converts AC volts to DC volts. And that is sent over to your regulator and your regulator supplies the five volt standby voltage right here on your power supply board going to the main logic board. Also, you got your 12 volt regulator. That voltage is sent out to the main logic board. And that is for video processing right here. And that is, that signal is, well, that signal, that voltage is sent to the TCOM board. That powers on the TCOM board. That's 12 volts. And then you got your 24 volt regulator, and that goes to your main logic board, and that activates your audio circuit. So you, no 24 volts, no audio for you. No 12 volts, no TCOM board, no display or picture for you. And also the 24 volts right here, you, as you can see, is to turn on the ballast, the backlights. So there's your 24 volt regulator right here that you can see. So that's the voltages on the power supply board. When you press the power button on your remote or on the TV, that actually gets sent over to the microprocessor and that is your power on signal. And that gets sent over right here to the power supply board. And that's your inverter on signal. Once you hit power on, that signal activates right here, come, goes to your power supply board, and that is your 3.3 DC volts right here. So that's how you read it. So these voltages won't appear until you hit the power on button. So you won't see, the only voltage you're going to see while the TV is turned off is the 5 volt standby voltage. So those were the differences in the Vizio TV and LG TV. So hopefully this video helped you out. And if it was informative, give me a big thumbs up. It helps me out. And if you know anyone that's into electronics or likes to fix TVs or it has a broken TV and this video may help them fix it, click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos and more tech reviews.